I give the floor to the International Service for Human Rights. Thank you, Madam President. This is a joint statement. We welcome that the High Commissioner responded to our calls and will center the voices of victims and their families in the report on systemic racism. States and civil society continue to urge the Council to recognize the right to a healthy environment. We welcome that the resolution on the rights of the child encourages states to consider doing so. However, we are concerned by the unprecedented attempt to weaken the text through amendments. We welcome the resolution on women's and girls' rights in humanitarian situations, and we commend the core group for their inclusive and participatory approach, which enabled its adoption by consensus. With impunity for attacks against journalists rampant worldwide, states must implement commitments to the resolution on the safety of journalists. Cambodian civil society continues to be under attack, including at this council. We urge the council to address these violations, including reprisals. We welcome that several states called for accountability for individual victims of reprisals and urge more states to do so. The council has demonstrated its ability to respond promptly and contribute to the prevention of violations, such as by convening the urgent debate on Belarus. We welcome that the council has renewed and strengthened the mandates on Venezuela and Yemen, renewed the mandate on Burundi and ensured continued debates on Sudan. We also welcome the joint statements on Saudi Arabia and Iran and urge the Council to continue its scrutiny. We also urge the Council to uphold the rights of the Palestinian people by adopting measures to overcome Israeli apartheid. Thousands of victims and their families continue to be deprived of justice in the Philippines. The adopted resolution is a collective failure by the states of this Council to ensure the needed international investigation. If killings and other serious violations continue, the Council can and should further take further action to ensure accountability. The Council must be ready to live up to its responsibility to ensure independent investigations wherever violations occur. This session opened with the High Commissioner calling for independent monitoring of collective expulsions of migrants and refugees at EU borders. This session closes with this call unanswered. The Council must act on this call by establishing a mechanism for this and other deadly migration routes. We regret that the Council also failed to act on Algeria, Bolivia, India and Egypt by urging them to immediately release activists and protesters. Finally, the time has come for the Council to establish a mechanism on China, as called for by 50 special procedures, dozens of states, and hundreds of NGOs. Thank you. Mm -hmm.